From 1925 to 1941, sometimes flying several in formation, the Goodyear Blimp Fleet made over 150,000 flights and traveled over 4 million miles just for the fun of it. In the meantime, Goodyear, the name emblazoned on the monumental air dock, was building two of the world's largest airships, aimed for war instead of wonder. Thousands watched as Goodyear put together the pieces and the power of a flying giant, watching as the skeleton began to take form from the main frame of this rigid airship through the intricate latticework of the Duralum and girders, giving the lady her not-so-dainty shape. Hundreds of men coming from surrounding states were needed in the air dock, working above, below, and inside the structure. The enthusiasm continued through the two-year production of the 758-foot craft. Six and a half million rivets were needed to hold the ship together before she could be freed in the skies. Covering the ship's metal skeleton took seven acres of cotton fabric, waterproof with a sparkling aluminized finish. She certainly looked fit and well in shape for her important introduction. They do things in a big way out here. This mammoth Zeppelin dock in Akron, which we see from the air, houses the new queen of the skies. And everybody from miles around is coming to see the Navy's giant Zepp. There's standing room only inside as the crowd gazes on the silver sky battleship. There's Mrs. Hoover approaching the stand now. She's come to christen the ship, and the crowd gives her a big hand. It's quite an idea. The first lady of the land, naming the first lady of the skies. I name thee Aqua. Forty-eight pigeons, one for each state in the Union, guide the way out of the air dock as the USS Akron, the mightiest craft of its time, is unveiled on August 8, 1931. Designed to hold over six and a half million cubic feet of helium, 30 times greater than that of today's blimps, the Akron was able to carry up to 91 passengers and crew members and contain sleeping quarters, a mess hall, galley, and restrooms. There she goes, clear of the mooring mast on her first venture into Cloudland. The motors are merely idling now because her actual top speed is more than 80 miles an hour. The cruising radius of this aerial giant is 11,500 miles a distance equal to halfway around the world. What a thrilling picture the great ship makes as she floats majestically through space. It's a sight no one will ever forget. Long may she cruise as a symbol of America's air power.